contribution. It's simple. Just point, click, and right. contribute. You know, I'm laughing because I'm old enough to remember it was Virginia Mayo that you just saw in that clip of the brown birdie. Huh? Val doesn't know that from the, the, the hole in the ground. <laughs> Most important, these great shows are presented by the much-loved Ralph Story. Take a look at what so many of us remember as classic Ralph. I did the news for several years, and gradually the human predicament began to take on serious news stories. As that evolved, I said, hey, you're asking me to go on the air every night and say uh, Beirut or whatever the capital was that was in the news, I don't know anything about it. And if I'm going to do this and do this properly, I have got to have the background for it. So in 1963, I quit. And Bob Wood said, you will never come back to CBS. Your name, you'll die in a year. You, no one will ever hear of you. So I went around the world in 1963, slowly, on a boat. Uh, to see all the places that I've been talking about and to see places that I was going to talk about. What I didn't count on was the fact that Bob Wood loved to make marine telephone calls. And wherever I went, he called from the office up here. Hello, Ralph, how is Australia? Ready to come back? I said, gee, Bob, I just got here, you know? Um, he called me every single once a month, all the way around the world. The last call was at a little town called Milde, Norway. I remember it very clearly. Because he said, I think we've got something you'll be interested in. Of course, this is nine months later now. I think we've got something you'll be interested in. That's great. And that thing was Ralph Story LA. And right now we have something you're going to be very interested in because joining us here is uh, here at KCT is Ralph Story, beloved widow, Diana Story. Thank, Thank you, so Belle. Much. I'm delighted to be here. It's just Thank wonderful. You. Now, I had the pleasure and privilege of getting to know Ralph for the few years that it took to do these programs, but both of you knew him decades longer than I knew. Is that right? Uh, a long time. Yes. It wasn't and exactly a menage a trois, but no, okay. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Ralph longer. Earlier, I was his secretary, um, but, uh, you know, contrary to some of the popular myth that floated around, I think, in those days, when Ralph was gracious enough, and he was a true mentor, to say, Stephanie, you might be a great actress, but I doubt it. However, I've learned you can talk. You should talk for a living. When he moved me from secretary to co-host of his show, it was assumed that it was maybe a couch cast. Mm -hmm. It was not. He was a great gentleman and a great mentor. And then Diana met him years later, and he fell instantly in love with her, he says. He was smitten. He, he was smitten. <laughs> Big time, yeah, and we, we could tell the difference between his attitude toward the rest of us and her. What was it like being uh, married to somebody that was so well known and everywhere you went, something, I'm sure oh, people said all sorts of well, things. Well, there was a, a cute story when we were in San Inez because we had moved up and bought a house in San Inez while we were still working in, in L.A. And we were in the parking lot of the hardware store and this woman rushes up absolutely ashen faced and she says, Gosh, she said, isn't there going to be any news tonight? Because <laughs> Ralph was in the Ralph wasn't, in, wasn't there, so there was obviously not going to be any news. Well, Ralph wasn't at the desk. Because the world comes to a stop. He comes to a stop. Yes. Ralph's not there. You know, it was an interesting thing that Ralph, in his career, was able to mentor a lot of people. And it takes time, as you know, Val, to mentor people. It does. Uh, there were people who started out on the desk answering the phones. Uh, Jill Sherman Donner, who later wrote for Magnum P.I., she was answering phones for Ralph. Uh, our first producer went on to high executive in uh, Universal. This was Ralph Story's AM in the morning show. Uh, our producer went to the network in New York. There were so many people who, in whom he saw their own giftedness. Sometimes when that person himself didn't recognize what Ralph saw. And he took the time to give out goodness for free. And Diana did have a chance to see him do mm -hmm. some of that. Mm -hmm. And he had a great sense of humor. He, oh, said, he said he arrived in California with Father Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was a corset salesman in Kalamazoo, Michigan, you know. A corset salesman? Didn't, it wasn't he, he, he drove the car for a corset salesman, but he had to do the demonstrations with the girdles and the bras and the whole thing. So he was the driver and the model for the lingerie. Driver and the model. Can you see that? <laughs> and, he, and, and from Kalamazoo, he was a doctor's son. Um, he had Midwestern roots. Not many people know that he flew 63 missions as a World War II pilot. Fighter yeah. pilot? Yes, fighter yeah. pilot. And he crashed. 
and almost he, he died and almost walked died, away. But walked away and kept kept going. Never talked about it though, did he? No. Much. No. Not much. I didn't know he was a pilot for years after I had worked for him. Really? No, as is typical, I'm sure, of many who went through that. But uh, I asked him about the missions. He said, no, I got nothing to tell you. Really? But that was a frightening, frightening experience. So we're talking about fighter, pilot, of course, writer, reporter, actor. Actor? Yes. Was there anything he couldn't do with it? Was there anything I, he said, darn, I'm just not good at that? I, I, well, he studied speech and English uh, when he was in college. And so when he got the opportunity to, to study Jack Benny's timing, that was what he was really interested in doing. Jack Benny and Lucille Ball. He took uh, comedy acting with Lucille Ball. So he actually took comedy yes, acting yes, classes. Yes, yes, he took. Well, he didn't just watch the uh -uh. video. No, no, no. He oh. took classes. He was good. Him. I saw him do Don Juan in Hell, a tough piece of work, and he was a very good actor and very musical. I think he played the baritone horn at one time. Well, we could go on. Yeah, we could. could. But there was a beautiful uh, uh, quote or that somebody described talking about people who work in news try to save oh, the world. Ruth, Ruth Ashton Taylor said that the, uh, the, in the newsroom, the, everybody rushed around trying to save the world, and Ralph showed us why it was worth saving. Oh, yeah. Oh, he is rare. I wish we could clone him and bring him back. But I think he's here tonight. Oh, he is looking down? Absolutely, he's looking down, and I'm sure he'd be calling in right now. <laughs> He would be with a pledge. With a pledge. Excellent, Diana. And that is a wonderful segue. Diana Story, thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Story. Joining us here at KCET because it means something to her and bringing us wonderful stories. To all our viewers, please do take the time to join us. 866-523-8200 or online. KCET.